Hi, welcome back to the Pearl 2010. Now I'll be showing you how to do a wipe all and a basic patch on the console. So to do a wipe all, start the desk from fresh. We turn the key to system, so it's pointing upwards. It turns this way around. Then we can see the menus changed. If we go into service, which is always at the top on soft EA, and we press that, and we then look down here to F with the wipe option. When we press that, we're giving another new menu. So we have the option to just wipe the patch, just wipe the palettes, or just wipe the programming. But for the minute, we're going to do a wipe all. This will clean everything off the desk. So when we press that, we can see in the top left, it's telling us that it's just resetting. When this screen comes back on, and this menu comes back, the desk is ready to use again. So, if I now show you how to patch some basic fixtures, we'll turn the key now back to program. Again, turning it clockwise. And then we look down at the blue bag of buttons to the third one up from the bottom, which is patch. When we press that, the LED comes on so we can see we're in the patch menu. If we look at the LCD screen, we can see we're given a number of options in the patch menu. Now, the top two are the ones we want to be looking at for now. There's dimmer and fixtures. The desk looks at lights in two different ways. It sees a dimmer as anything with a single DMX channel. So something like a generic Parkan or a Source 4 or a single channel hazer. A fixture is anything with more than one channel. So your LEDs, moving lights and things like that. So if we're going to patch dimmers in, we'll choose the top one. This brings us into the dimmer patch menu. Now the two things you need to be aware of when you're patching dimmers is the DMX line, so what's plugged into the back of the desk, and then the DMX address within that line. So that's what you've patched it onto using your dimmers. So then we make sure that the DMX line is right. So line A. Yep, it's in the, in the back of the desk. Now I check my address. So I've got some par cans that start at address 1. So that's all fine, I don't need to change anything. Now to sign to someone on the desk, all I do is press the blue button. So when I patch that, it's been patched in. Now there are two ways we can check it's in there. We can see the desk has automatically gone to the next free DMX address, which is DMX002. And if we look upon the screen here as well, this screen shows us a map of the DMX universe on the back. So there's 512 dots, 512 channels. If you look on the right hand side, we can see that dimmer is the first thing we've patched, so it's been assigned the letter A. If we then look down at the patch, the first channel, so the first dot, has been overridden with an A. This means the dimmer has been patched to DMX address 1, so that's all good. Now to continue on patching, we can either carry on pressing buttons, and it's assigned the next one along, so we can see it here. Or if we've got a lot of channels, that could take quite a while. So what we can do is patch a range in. So I know I've got another 14 DMX channels. So if I hold down the next free button, and then I count along 14, so the range is in banks of 10, so it makes it slightly easier to read, and then press 14, uh, 16, sorry, that's 14 long. Now that's patched in the whole range. Again, we can check up here, so let's patch them all in. And again, it's gone to the next free DMX dress, which is 17. So I know they're all in there. So that's all good. Now, to patch a fixture, we have to come out of the dimmer menu and go into choose a fixture. So if I press quit this menu, I'm taken back to the root patch menu. So the first one we saw when we pressed the patch key. We'll now select choose a fixture. What happens now is the desk will look for all the personality files that Ableites have written. So there are two locations you could get this from. The floppy drive, which you insert from your own personalities, or the hard drive inside the desk, so the cache file. For the minute, I know that all the personalities I need are going to be inside the desk, so I'll choose the cache file. What the desk now does is look for all the manufacturers that it has inside it. So we'll scroll through to our list of manufacturers until we get to the ones I want. So now I'm going to choose the Roby colour spots. 
so I'll look for row B. Now they're listed alphabetically, so I could scroll through using more, which take me down to the B's and C's. If I use back, it'll go back through the alphabet. So if I scroll through back, I get to R. Then I can see here 207 is Roby. So when I press Roby, it's now going to look inside the Roby file and find all the lights that Roby make. Again, they're listed alphabetically. So I'm looking for the colour spot, 1200. So if I scroll through until I get to C, So now we'll look down the list until we get to the right personality. We've got to make sure that we pick the right mode for the right light as well. So the one that's set on the fixture is when we need to match it to on the desk. So for the minute, I know I'm using the 32DMX one for the colour spot, not the 24. So if I pick this one, it'll then access this personality for me. They'll now give you an option to use preset palettes. For the minute we'll say yes. This will give you a bank of colours, a bank of gobos and a bank of positions to work from. This now brings me into a similar menu for the dimmer patching one. We have to make sure we've got the right DMX line and the right DMX address. So again, line A corresponds to the first line in on the back of the desk. I can see that I need to change my DMX line. So to do that, if I scroll down to select the DMX line, just soft key E. When I press that, it will bring up the four lines the desk has. All I have to do is, check, is choose the right one. So now I've changed my line to B. I need to make sure the DMX address is right. Yep, so I can see my lights start at 001. So now to patch them in, it works exactly the same way as the dimmers. All we do is press the blue button. We can look up here again and see that it's patched in correctly. So my colour spot has 32 channels, so it's taken up 32 dots, starting from 001. So that's gone in fine. I can now patch a range in the same way as my dimmers if there are no breaks in the DMX dressing. So for example, the next three ropes I've got just continue on, so they start at 33. So all I'm going to do is hold down one and press three along. So that's patched all four in with no breaks. So that's us patched. If we press quit, it'll bring us out of the patch menu and into the standard program menu again.